Go ahead, David. Hey, what were the um, conversations that, that led to you leaving the, the booth for the field this week? And do you feel it had the, the benefits you hope to achieve by going down there? Yeah, you know, the, uh, the, the COVID has kind of put a lot of restrictions on the booth and uh, as well as the field, as we all well know. And, and just from a communication standpoint, Mike and I had been talking about it for a couple of weeks now, and we just decided that it would be time to kind of see if that wouldn't, wouldn't help us. And I thought the communication was better because of it. In what way was it better? Just the fact that you could assemble everyone together at the same time, and since this is a little bit newer scheme, or, or when do you see the benefits of it? Uh, the, the benefits are that, um, first off, it's hard to work in the booth and under the current restrictions and things and to get the information that you need. Um, and therefore, you know, being on the field gives you more of a hands-on with the players. It also gives me an opportunity to interact with the coaches. And look, we didn't have a, this is not to be an excuse, but we didn't have any really trial time with one another. It's a brand new staff. None of us have worked together before. Uh, we didn't have a preseason to kind of take out some of the kinks as far as, you know, interacting during the game. And um, I just think it was, well, anyway, it, it was it was improvement. I, I felt very comfortable yesterday on the field with the guys, and I thought that uh, we made several, you know, tweaks, I would say, to the to the game plan along the way that would would uh, would have been a little harder to, to accomplish or they would have taken us a little longer had I been in the booth. So I thought that the, I thought that it was beneficial for us. Do you think that was the key to Jalen Smith having one of his third games of the season? You being down there to communicate? <laughs> no, I don't. Um, I tell you, look, he's played well this year. He has. I know he's taken some hits uh, in the in the press, but I'm telling you, he's really he's done everything to uh, uh, you know to help this football team win games. He's really done a good job. He's worked extremely hard. He's been very receptive to all the things we're trying to do. Um, I say all the things to anything we're trying to do for that matter is simple or, or whatever it might be. And, uh, and I think he's played well thus far. Now he did play exceptionally well yesterday, or maybe exceptions too big a word, but he did play very well yesterday, made some nice plays on the screen, was very active in the run game, um, graded very well. Uh, but, um, we're very pleased with, with Jalen. He's done a very good job. And can you uh, assess the way your safety's played yesterday, your, your rotation at safety? Um, I thought the safeties did a very good job. I thought uh, that X played, played a good game. You know, we, we uh, alternated uh, Donald Wilson with Stephen Parker, and uh, they both got about 40 to 25. I think it, one got 25 or 30 reps, the other one got about 40-some. But um, I thought that helped us, gave us a little spark there. Both those players work extremely hard in practice. I think it was beneficial for the team and beneficial for them to get the extra work. And actually, when you get a win out of it, it's, it's all the better. So it was kind of a win-win. Um, well, you know, there's, there's situations in a game that come up, whether it's a pass rush or whether it's a, a, a game that you're working between linemen, because you're typically trying to attack protections when you're, when you're doing that. And a lot of that obviously involves the defensive linemen. So anytime you're going to, you know, kind of tweak or move one of their positions around or try to, try to uh, explain something, it's a lot easier in person than it is from the booth. It's also, uh, look, we have very good coaches on the side, in my opinion. I think George Edwards and Jim Tom Sewell are both excellent coaches and do an excellent job of those type of adjustments. But it's easier uh, because I'm typically a part of that, naturally being the coordinator. And so it's easier for me to interact with them and face-to-face -face on the sideline. So I would have to think maybe that's probably what, what DeMarcus is alluding to is, is the interaction that we had. And we were able to get right to the, you know, right to what we wanted to do very quickly. Um, and uh, and to give credit to, to Jim and, and uh, George both, they, they typically handled that stuff. Um, I kind of give the A-OK -okay from when we're going, but otherwise they, they handled the adjustment and did a, did a really good job with it. You bet, and on that note, how would you assess the pressure y'all were able to get on the quarterback yesterday, and do you think it was an improvement from the first four weeks? I thought we got good pressure yesterday. Uh, I was a little disappointed. He got out of the, the, the uh, pocket eight times. There was four incompletes. We tackled him for a minus, and then he had three completions of 12, 14, and 17, and uh, those didn't hurt us. Uh, they weren't plays we'd like to give up, but nonetheless, 
Um, I didn't think they heard us that bad. So the eight times he got out, I thought that it was obviously due to the pressure that we had in the pocket. Um, we only got a couple sacks. I thought we got very close a number of times. We got hits on them. So to answer your question, I thought we did a pretty good job of, of uh, disrupting the quarterbacks, probably the best way to say it. I know he had an 80.6 rating on the day, um, which I'm sure he would like to have a better rating. And, uh, but it, it, was, it was good for us to get the pressure that we did. You know, it's very unfortunate that it happened. Uh, you know, he was trying to to brace himself so he didn't land on the quarterback, and in the process, it he injured himself, which is really a shame because he's really worked extremely hard. He's really come a long way from the time that we started uh, on the field in August. Um, he really was really was improving all the time, and he's an extremely uh, what I want to say. He's very conscientious about getting better. He wants to get better. He works really hard, so. We're really disappointed. As far as replacing him, um, you know, there's other, we've, we've had a rotation going as it is. Uh, there's the possibility that someone might come up off the practice squad. I know Mike has mentioned some people, but, but no one specifically yet. Uh, but um, like I said, we've been, we've been rotating people, so we do have some bodies, but uh, it is very unfortunate that he, he got nicked because he was doing a good job. I was really proud of him the way he was working so hard. Uh, great question, because I know people will compare guys like that. They're, they're two different athletes. Um, and, uh, and as I watched, I would say this, uh, Kyler Murray, as we know, all know, although uh, Russell is not, you know, he might be six foot or a little over, um, Kyler Murray, Murray is even shorter than that, but he's extremely quick and he's fast to go with it. Um, he, uh, he escapes the pocket more up inside than on the outside, although he can do both. Russell Wilson is more of a perimeter guy or has been. Um, but I think, they're, look, they're, I think they're very different, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, Kyler Murray can flick the ball very well, but it's a different kind of a delivery. Um, I, don't, I don't see them the same. Just, I just see their mobility being similar, that the fact that they both are mobile. But look at the quarterback the other day we saw you know, from the Giants. He's a very mobile player. And uh, so there's a lot of guys, and they all come in different sizes and, and so forth. But uh, it'll be a different challenge. We'll get more into the game plan and decide exactly how we want to try, you know, try to hem him up. But a lot of teams have already tried to do that, and he's very difficult in that re regard. But he's got some really good weapons on the outside. I mean, so you, you, know, you have to really be on your, your best behavior as far as coverage goes when you're covering their guys. And, but uh, different but similar, probably the best way to say it. I'm sorry. Say, I'm sorry. Repeat that, please. Is Arizona the best receiving core you might have seen so far on paper? Maybe even on film a little bit. Um, aside from the guys we have here on our football team, I think they are pretty darn good. We've got good receivers here as well. We go against them each day, but obviously receivers, you know, although good, they they are different in the way they, you know, in the different in the way they play. But Hopkins is, is very good. Obviously, Fitzgerald's been a great player for many years. Um, you know, but they've got a great receiving core. But Hopkins has been a good addition to the group that they already had. And uh, so it'll, it'll be quite a challenge. You utilize three safeties in that game. Is that more about what the Giants were doing? Or is that something you would like to start doing more of? Um, it was really just something that, uh, you know, Mike and I had spoken about, just the uh, – Usage of our players is probably the best way to say it. Um, I, I think you're alluding to the fact we had uh, six DBs on the field in, on third down. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 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 I, it's just, yeah, I think, you know, it was. It was a matter of us trying to utilize the, the people that we have. Uh, uh, DT, Thompson, he had, he had uh, you know, uh, we, we limited some of his safety reps and moved him down on third down to the box to, to be a player in that area. And he did a very good job, as a matter of fact. So that, that really, I thought that helped us a lot. Um, but it's, it's just a case really just trying to utilize the young guys that we have and get them more playing time. I was going to ask a little bit more on that. What dictated specifically Stephen Parker's involvement based on what he showed or 
the drink situation there during the game that popped up with Don and Wilson that influenced Steven rotating in? You know, he's a good example of uh, – if you practice well, you got a chance to, you know, get the coach's eye and get in the game. And Steven has practiced very well since he's been here and he's continued to, you know, each week he's done that. And uh, so for that reason, you know, I think that's why I put him up at first. We, we gave him some, some first team reps during the week, uh, the last two weeks. And this week just had the, uh, you know, had the opportunity to, to move him up. So we did. There sounds like a chance. I know over the course of the week this might gain clarity, but that Leighton Van Der Esch could return to your defense on Monday night. What's the outlook of just that happening in your view, and what would the significance be if indeed he's able to return? You know, I'm, I'm not privy to the information yet to say what his status is, whether it's this week or the next or when it might be. But when he does come back, obviously we'll be excited because he's, you know, he's a very good player. Um, and he, you know, look, good players help you win games. I think it's pretty simple. Uh, that's what he would mean to us if we can get him back on the field. Uh, but it, I, I'm not, personally, I don't know, you know, I don't know when that timetable is myself. So, but we usually talk more personnel uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, rather than today. Today's kind of putting the, the you know, the, yesterday's game to bed. Mike, we haven't had a chance to talk with you since Randy Gregory started integrating back into practice. Where's he at in that acclimation process? He's another player. I don't know where he is as far as the timetable because I also know there's some restrictions based on just the league and what they said he could do or can't do. So I'm not sure what those dates are, but he has been out on the field um, working and uh, the work has been good. I know he's trying to get, I know when he started a few weeks ago, whenever that was, you could tell he was out of shape and he himself was saying, you know, he had to get his wind back and things like that. And he's a little bit heavier um, than he was before when he was playing. So he's got to, you know, get, again, I think getting in shape, he'll drop a few pounds in the process. But uh, look, um, I remember when he came out, as, as many people do, and he's a very athletic individual that, that's a good football player. And so, uh, you know, we'll see. I don't, again, like I said, I'm not sure what the timetable is, but we'll be, uh, certainly be able to use him when he does become available to us. Mike, can you talk about the, the turnover you forced in, in, in return for a touchdown yesterday? And do you do you feel you're getting closer to, to forcing the issue and making some of these plays, or, or do you still have a way to go there? Well, it's, you know, you're always climbing a ladder. You're trying to stack good plays on other good plays. But I, I felt that yesterday's uh, the uh, – uh, I thought that the players executed the pressures well, even the non-pressures. I thought we had, a, you know, one of our – we did have one of our cleaner games from a, uh, an assignment standpoint, um, and the pressures were in that same category. We did a good job in that area, you know, as far as executing them. Other than, like I said, the quarterback getting out of the pocket a few times is a little disappointing because if we keep him in there, I believe we get him on the ground. Um, but as far as the play that that, that occurred, it was, uh, as you all saw, it was just a corner coming off the open side. And um, in the process, you know, the end was up the field and he came underneath. The end made a great play. Uh, D. Law, Demarcus Lawrence did. And uh, I don't think the quarterback saw him at all. As a matter of fact, I ran it back and forth this a few times to see if he was trying to escape D. Lawrence, uh, D. Law, but he was not really. He was just he was just rolling that way, and D. Law surprised him when he stripped him. I think that's why the ball came out. And fortunately for us, um, you know, Anthony Brown was right there to scoop it and take it to the, you know to the house, which was nice. You know, it's one of those plays where you see other people get him and you're always going, God, I wish we would get one of those breaks and and we got one. And so it was obviously it helped us win the game as well. And we'll finish up here with Christy. Christy. Hey, Mike Mike, another one of your young guys who had an op another one of your young guys who had an opportunity to contribute more yesterday was Francis Bernard, it looked like with that third defensive series. Mm -hmm. Is that a thing where he's coming in on base and Joe Thomas for nickel and if that's the uh, pattern there, what is the skill sets and experience level for that particular type of rotation? Mm -hmm. Well, I think you got the rotation down. You're right. As far as base and the nickel, you're accurate in saying that. Um, uh, the second part of your question, I'm sorry, regard to, to Francis was what? Yeah, just uh, what's the difference in the skill set skill or set. experience with um, that uh, for one and the other? Yeah, I was, you know what, Joe's more of a will linebacker, in my opinion, than he is a Mike, uh, but he was our next best linebacker at the time when, when Leighton went down. 
And so we moved him, you know, obviously so he gets to play. And we're also in a lot of sub, and there's a lot of similarities between the two positions. But uh, some games, as was the case yesterday, where we opened the game with a little more base than normal. And uh, so, again, uh, Francis has been practicing very well. And uh, we thought we'd give him an opportunity to, you know, take that role and, and take a little bit of the, some snaps away from Joe so he didn't have as many snaps as he's had. He's had a lot of snaps here recently. Uh, and to go from being a special team starter to all of a sudden getting, you know, 60, 70 plays in a game on defense, that's a, that's a, that's a big difference for guys. So just no different than the safeties that we, you know, moved in and out of the line, whether it's safety or down in the dime position. We kind of did the same thing with a couple linebackers. Uh, even at the outside position, you know, got uh, – uh, DA involved at the Sam linebacker spot. So, again, you just I think yesterday was was good for us in a lot of ways. Obviously, the win being number one, but also the opportunity that we had to to get several younger guys in the game to play and get some experience was helpful. And Francis was one of those guys. Thank you. Thank you.